Oh, he right? famously threw his, like, his... Yo, yo. Is this, is this voice sped up or something? And why he, why he sitting like that? Brown Sugar Pop-Tart said, what's wrong with a man sitting like that? Do you, do, you, do you see anything wrong with this? I don't think these are Look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass milkers. I don't do none of that. I be robbing. I just be cabbing. I just be robbing. I don't want to smoke with them. So I ain't in the street. I don't get angry. Yeah. 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 Wicked Ben! Stop the head. I ain't no drug lord. Never seen a brick. No bus open them packages. I don't do no crime. No lie to be real with Business. I don't sell drugs, to be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling sea moss That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking Alright, so next video we about to watch is this, bro Alright, we gotta watch this, bro Because I gotta figure out what is this about Now, I've heard some things about this guy, right? And, uh, I don't know how true they were But he has said some really questionable things so we're gonna go ahead and watch this video, The Very Weird World of Diddy. Let's go ahead and see what this is about. It's not it's not Kevin Gates, John Cola, Diddy. At one point in the bathroom, we looked up and saw them all in the ceiling, and we were just like, How how do you do this? This is not human. Were you on the ceiling? When these rappers get killed, not incidental. Somebody made a hundred million dollars and now don't have to talk to that artist. Or none of they crew don't have to validate none of they contracts. Sorry. Yo, bro, suck attack with the fox. Get this after getting gifted. W's in a chat. W's in a fucking chat. Yo, thank you, bro. Bro, you just yo. W community, bro. Dog, he just asked, could he please get a gifted? Got gifted and then gifted five subs. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate that, man. And Fab and Jada and mm -hmm. everybody, they made a compilation video with you because they said you were sounding real suspect. Clementine mm -hmm. Chill, bro. On the, on the interview. Yeah. Did you see that? Of course, nah. I didn't see that. No, nah, I didn't see it. Didn't see when you hear of Diddy, many refer to him as a businessman. He wears suits, goes to Met Gala's, pockets deeper than the ocean, in love with young Miami. Others would say Diddy is selfish. Keep it a band. Do y'all think Diddy is bi? Narcissist, that he's gay. And he's the most he said Diddy most Why definitely gay. much rumors be surrounding Diddy. Before we even begin talking about Diddy, let me Don't do it. People that talk about Diddy end up dead or in the hospital or turn to God. Uh, in GTA, we good, we good, we good. We just we, we open just your eyes video. into the secret parties. He of definitely the mega little zesty. Rich, the parties of the mega. He plays for the Chiefs on February 9th. He calls the... grown other men daddy. Diddy got more forehead than Quan. Diddy do he ain't got a big forehead, does he? I didn't a documentary was posted to Vice describing the secret sex parties of the mega rich. These parties Did you send it to my business phone? Some of the most violent things. Because I get it things. if you send it to my business The manager phone. recalls that on one weekend, a large group of 60-ish people would rent out an entire hotel. They would purchase the entire hotel just to turn it into one giant orgy. They'd spend $250,000. Imagine, imagine being that rich. Spend two hundred fifty thousand dollars in one night to rent out an entire hotel just to fuck everybody, just for two nights at a time. And these billionaires, they would leave one heck of a nightmare in these hotel rooms. Is it blood on the floor, feces on the walls, or feces. even semen stains on the ceiling inside these? Y'all remember when we watched that one? Y'all remember we watched that one? Rooms that were left by these billionaires, a black light showing germs not visible to the eye, to the naked eye, would be turned on and. What they saw that was left of this party was disgusting. We looked down and saw the stains. We looked at the Ooh, sides. Just on the wall. On semen. At one point in the bathroom, we looked up and saw them all on the ceiling, and we were just like, "How?" Randomly, uh, relevant said, "How come all successful black men get called gay at some point? Not all do, but Diddy has said some really questionable things, though. Like, bro, he, he I like that, daddy, calling dudes daddy and shit like that. Like, come on, bro, you have to expect people to call you gay after you doing that." Like, he has said some really questionable things. Nobody said J. Cole was gay. Nobody said uh, Michael B. Jordan's gay. Nobody said Idris Elba's gay. Nobody said Denzel Washington is gay. 
Uh, need I go on? What other rappers? Nobody said Lil Durk is gay. Nobody said, uh, what other rappers? Uh, ESTG. Nobody said ESTG is gay. Nobody said, uh, uh, Will Smith. Has they said he was gay? They said, Nobody said LeBron is gay. Nobody said Lil Nas X is gay. Nobody said 21 Savage is gay. Nobody said Kendrick Lamar is gay. See what I mean? How do you do this? This is not human. Were you on the ceiling? The secret parties of Diddy. Just like that party, Diddy has been known to be having some of the most freakish Hollywood parties. In a video, you see Jamie Foxx as the jokingly- Nobody said Jamie Foxx was gay. Describes these parties of Hollywood. Jamie would even say one time of how Diddy spent a million dollars just to host a party of this sort. I would hang out and watch him throw parties. Sure, he right. famously threw his, like, his... Yo, yo. Is this is his voice sped up or something? And why he why he sitting like that? And why his legs look so skinny? The, yo, bro, what, hold on, what? That's not that's not that's AI. It was white party oh, out? He would throw yeah. party. One point, I went to Philly, followed him all the way to Philly. He threw a party, and he said, "Yo, Playboy, this party costs a million and a half dollars." Brown sugar pop tart said, "What's wrong with a man sitting like that?" Do you, do you see anything wrong with this? Do, I look like I look like a <laughs> like <laughs> the fuck the nigga said. To you, what's wrong with a man sitting like this? I look like a fucking fruit, don't I? The hell wrong with this nigga? The fuck you mean? What's what's wrong with a man sitting like this, nigga? Look at me, nigga. The hell you talking about, bro? The fuck that shit look gay as hell, nigga. The hell wrong with this nigga? Of course I'm wrong with a nigga sitting like that, nigga. Yes. So a million and a Yo, y'all niggas can't do the whole yo never heard of leg day shit to me. Y'all can't do that to me. Cause y'all see the definition can't. of my legs, nigga. I, you can say that, you can say that, but that you know, but that's because of where I sat. Y'all don't ever see me sitting like that for real though, bruh. Here we go. Looks like a poor attempt to hide the camel toe print. The camel toe. The camel toe. Mr. JSG, nigga, Pause. bro, stop playing with me, bro. Do you, do you see the definition in that, bro? Do you see the definition, bro? See, there's a difference between me and y'all niggas. I just have skinny legs, bro. I just have skinny legs, bro. I will do some personal investigation work to find out if Daddy Diddy is conjuring with Rainbow Daddy Warriors. Daddy Diddy. That booty gonna look like the NASA black hole image that they released. Conjuring with what? L print. Help. Why is niggas full? This, I didn't even have a print. Bro said, fuck leg day. No, nigga, my legs are defined. They're just not big. I have no mass because I have skinny na legs, naturally. A half dollars to throw this party. With this, you can definitely tell that these types of Hollywood parties are definitely going on behind closed doors. And apparently, this was something that Diddy did. I often. can't imagine But Diddy what do you just... think could be happening inside? See, look at this hairline. This hairline ain't bad. I can't imagine Diddy, like, with a whole orgy party. These multi-million dollar parties. I mean, I'm sure there's some crazy things happening, right? And I said, Puff, I'll throw you a party for 400 bucks. On a TV program called Drink Champs. Diddy had a few See, shots, this was daddy and he became so tipsy that he started referring to other men as his daddy. Yeah, I, got Mr. Lee, what, yeah, I love this drink. You you? I like that? when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah, you my bed? See, I've never called another grown ass man daddy. I would never even call my dad daddy. Nigga. Now I even call a nigga a nigga. Dad. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I ain't calling nigga daddy. Daddy, yeah, I like when you, oh, when you spray. Spray. I tell my son now, I ain't telling nigga say daddy. Yo, yo, nigga, chill that shit out, bro. Fuck you mean daddy. Nigga, my name is Daquan Wilshire, nigga. Yeah. 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 Scraping no, 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 I, got I like that. Shit. What in the freakish Some world the is shit, happening bro. here? Kind of makes you wonder, right? Nigga, How come daddy. Diddy is referring to other grown men as his daddy? Could Diddy be gay? Yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like yeah. when you like this, daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you... My nigga Jadakiss and Fab. Look at these niggas, bro. Jadakiss and Fab like, yo, what's up with this nigga, bro? Because the thing is, with a nigga like Diddy, knowing the connections and shit he got, all of the money and everything, who's really going to call him out there? You can't. Yo, Kwani Boo, just like your legs, your arms have no definition and you're black. I hope this bait works because I'm trying to finish real quick. I'm creaming. And we just talking about like niggas being gay. <laughs> but as far as Diddy, right? So as I was saying with Diddy, 
he has way too many connections. There's certain people you can't disrespect or you can't call them out in a bullshit only because of networking purposes. You know what I'm saying? With Diddy, why? Like put it like this: keep it a thousand. Everybody in here right now, and don't lie. If you're sitting at this table right now with Diddy, Diddy calls another man daddy. You're going to be like, hey, yo, why you call a nigga daddy? Y'all going to say that? You mean to tell me you really going to call Diddy out knowing all the connections and everything he has? You you wouldn't. I guarantee you most niggas wouldn't. Niggas said, hell no, I'm walking away. Thank you. No, no, I swear to God I am. I bet Diddy has a room in his house where he stands butt naked nasty and his hit homies feed him grapes. I could see that. I could definitely see that. Unless I know him personally. No, I'm talking to, Look. Jada Kiss and Fab know the nigga personally. And they both rich. But the thing is, why would I fuck up a networking opera? I mean, why would I fuck up a, a source like Diddy? Why would I want to fuck that up? That connect? That be... Bro, what? I, I would never fuck that connect up. If I was around Jay-Z, Jay-Z said some weird shit. I'm not going to hold y'all niggas. Bro, I've been around some consecrated niggas. They just said some shit and I'm like... All right. And I just kept the pushing. Not gay shit. And it says some shit that I'm like, ah, right, that ain't some shit I fuck with. But hey, here, you do you. We're going to keep our distance. That's about it. But I ain't calling niggas out. It's connections. It is what it is. I've done it. You feel me? So I'm trying to tell you, a nigga like Diddy? Come on, bro. Oh, he's scrambling and scraping. Not only did Diddy say these things, he continued by saying he wanted to party and have a birthday party with Fab, the guy that was sitting across from him. I'm in. Look back on where I became. Did you miss me? Really? Niggas said low deluxe be calling niggas handsome. I, 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 niggas be calling niggas beloved and shit up there in New York and shit. So I don't know if the handsome shit is just something niggas be saying. I ain't lived in New York in a while, so you know what I'm saying? But I, I know niggas say beloved. Because we, you know what I'm saying, it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday party, party, man. Man, I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? I want you party for your birthday, man. I, I, yeah, we, we party for my birthday. You, you see the nigga Fab is just trying to get it like, yo, just chill out. You, we ain't got to have one of those parties for my birthday, my nigga. You see the nigga, right? He keep trying to... He, it's, it's it looks crazy. like when Diddy has had a few shots, his true colors begin to show. This might also make you wonder, what types of birthday party did Diddy have in his mind? And from what you're about to find out, Diddy's parties aren't just a regular birthday parties with cakes and presents. His parties are very mature. Very mature. Of and Tupac was like a couple, seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on. And... But that's the come. Just a few minutes after Diddy said he wanted to party with Fabs on Drink Champs, Diddy then goes on to play fight? fight with another man. Play fighting with another man. The nigga is basically saying, don't touch me. No, 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 bro. Kill Come tell the story. Bro, bro, wait. He got his arm hooked around and they get everything. Listen, listen. Oh, oh, bro, we have me. Right. Some bone chilling suspect stuff happening here. After that podcast, the clips of D saying all those things. I, I've gotten drunk and never want to hook my arm around a nigga, play fight with a nigga, and. Come on, bro. Went so viral that he'd be asked about it. Call on a Breakfast Club episode of January 18, 2018, yeah, I've Diddy been was their you. guest. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. Brother Love is here. Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> Just call me Love. Just, Just call love, me love now. Just Love now. And around 17 minutes into the podcast, Charlamagne asked Diddy Yo, about show, those dog. things he said in the interview. Chill, nigga. <laughs> when you was with Nori and Fab and Jada and mm -hmm. everybody. This really should just be the, the Charlemagne Club or the Charlemagne Show. I'm not gonna hold you. Like I, I don't think they would have ever gotten the audience they did without Charlemagne. Like it never would have happened. There's no way. It's literally the Charlemagne Show. Charlemagne asked the real questions every time they're in there. Look at this. He Charlemagne, the nigga that's doing it. They, they made a compilation video of you because they said you were sounding real suspect mm. on the on the interview. Yeah. Did you see that? Of course, yeah. I didn't see it. No, I didn't see it. You didn't see it? I swear to God. Uh, Come yeah. on, man. You saw hey, that on World hey, Star and hey, on the gram. Check, check this out. When they started playing the game, the pause game, I would definitely... That came from Harlem, too, by Yeah, it came from Harlem. I definitely would say some, oh, my, whoa. The crowd would be like, whoa, did he just say that? <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? I told y'all old heads though, like, and I know y'all gonna call me old head. I know y'all gonna start doing it. They don't be saying like all of that pause and no homo shit. They'll say some shit that just sound crazy. And then you just you got uh, yo pause, my nigga. Hey, 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 yo, what you just say? Hey, yo, nigga, chill. Yo, no homo, right? Like, it, but OS don't be caring. Like, saying I don't play games, y'all know. Of course, like you know me. Of course, I'm like a grown me. Man. Yep. I don't play games. Of course, I know it. But um, yeah. Did you the compilation? Go? Nah, I was, I was coming off of being in Miami a night of party, and I don't really remember what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You Diddy starts pretending, playing dumb, acting. I was about to say he definitely saw it. Ignorant, like he does he not know what Charlemagne was talking about. Charlemagne asks Diddy if he recalls. Diddy says no. Then Charlemagne goes on to play he the clips for Diddy. Oh, play some, man, play. Hey. See, Blasted Jim said, "Nah, ain't no Polish youngin. Nah, no bullshit. That's what they say." Like, yo, this is, yo, I, I love it all. I love it all, man. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, you my daddy, yeah, I like when you, when oh, you right scrambling here, right and right scraping right for no, shit. No, no, no. When you scrambling and scraping for shit, Daddy. That was you. Scrambling. <laughs> you said, you said, what? You said, I like when you do it like said, that, what? daddy. Even he was shocked at how gay he sounded. When you scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> this nigga. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what I was talking about. Gay as hell, nigga. Nah, nah. I mean, I was You don't caught, go back no, and no, look no. at that stuff and laugh? I mean, I, I mean, it, it could be funny. I don't really be on it like that. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. like. <laughs> I'm you sure know, we can put Charlemagne's compilation against Diddy's compilation. We have a bunch. We have Charlemagne. Yeah, Charlemagne. yeah. Keep it a band, though, bro. When you that rich, you probably... Do you think that these rich people focus on, like, the negative things to where he would be online trying to figure out... Well, he does be online. Do you really... Well, he's older, too, though. It's not like he's just rich and young to where you, you know, you were raised on social media. At his age, it's like, why would you choose... Like, say, for instance... I completely understand why most celebrities would say to themselves, they're not going to have a Twitter. Twitter is extremely negative. That one girl said that she's having a good year, and people were telling her that she needs to go. She needs to end her life in GTA. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, do you not see all the bad that's going on? And she was like, but I had a good year. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, I could understand why, why uh, celebrities would definitely lie, not have a Twitter. Imagine, because that girl only had like a thousand followers. Imagine having millions, hundreds of thousands to millions of followers, and as soon as you say something like that, you have people sending death threats and all types of shit. I mean, <laughs> I, I, also, I also don't do it because I, I know I'm bad at the game. Right. <laughs> 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 I know I say like reckless stuff out my mouth. That's, that's not reckless. Scrambling and scraping Do you think shit? he was acting like this around Biggie? I don't think Biggie would allow it, but Biggie has said you look so good, you I suck on your daddy's dick. So I have no clue the type of relationship these niggas had, bro. It's just not maybe, you know, adding <laughs> up to know. with somebody who maybe somebody who's homophobic, but I'm not homophobic and I really don't, you know, care. You know what I'm saying? I just but that's not being homophobic, that's being homo that's being homosexual. Um, I'm bad at the game, and it's probably hilarious. I would love to see it. I would love to see the video compilation. It's hilarious. 50, yeah. 50 came up here, and he was giving you flack for the... I'm tripping, or is it, is it sound off? Came up here, and he was giving you flack for the asking Fab to party. So you, he'll ask you, oh, he'll ask you to play it, play it, play the clip, man. Yeah, play the clip. Go ahead. Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? I'm, I, yeah, we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. You know? No, but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? I asked 50 about that, and he said you did the same thing to him. You asked him to take him shopping. Yeah. Yo. I thought he needed some clothes. Oh, we... I, I, that do sound a little... That do sound a little weird. But, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not turning it down if Diddy... Niggas, this nigga Clementine said this because I'm a... I'm not turning it down if Diddy asked me to go shopping. Bro, I'm going shopping with a billionaire. I'm sorry. I'm going to do that. I'm not... I'm not turning that down. But 50 Cent is different. Too stunned to speak. Flushed he, face. Even that nigga is shocked at the gay shit he, that came out of his mouth. You know, is that on that interview, Diddy never declined Publicly. or accepted the allegations. In fact, like a politician, he dodged the questions. And I can see why he dodged them, right? That was the best thing Diddy could have done to keep his reputation. That's if a fact. If he accepted those claims, he'd be coming out of the closet. And if he stay neutral, the question... Nigga, Brown... Brown Sugar Popstar said if Diddy asked for a kiss, I would give it to him. Questions that we all have would still remain in the air. But again, those things that Diddy was saying on the Drink Champs interview wouldn't compare to what he said to 50 Cent, Terrible. the story of 50.
the story of 50 Cent. Nigga could take me on a date as long as we shopping. No hypo. Not, see, see, I, bruh. Niggas would do the same shit that girls would do to be around rich motherfuckers. Yo, why was that line what I came back into? I, 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 I can't even tell you why. But yeah, my, my bad. I wasn't, you know, trying to do that. But Imagine this. There's this pretty girl that you like. Because you like her so much, you tell her, let's go shopping, right? And you pay for everything that she buy. And just never. like you, who yeah, act just, just because she's pretty, hell no. It's that girl on a shopping spree. That was the case of 50 never. Cent, who was asked by Diddy to take him shopping. The nigga Pop was like, yeah, like first he was hampering him to, to right. get style. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out, nigga. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Pop. Okay. He telling me we gotta kick it and shit. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck, this nigga just said. <laughs> real, real shit, nigga. Real shit, nigga. Real shit. <laughs> the fuck this nigga just say? <laughs> you can tell Fifty do not play that. Fifty don't play that shit. <laughs> what the fuck this nigga just say? Facts, nigga. The nigga don't play. Yo, <laughs> yo, real shit. And the fact that Fifty said this, like everybody else, I told you, they, they, they have too much shit they need to protect. Like as far as their connection with Diddy, Fifty don't give a fuck. And he sounds like the fuck this nigga talking. <laughs> and you could tell he's serious. The nigga didn't even laugh. The nigga didn't smirk or nothing. The nigga just so serious with it. The fuck this nigga just say? The fuck away from him. Cause I was like, this, this nigga like, fuck are you with? This nigga just tell me he take me shopping. Yo, real shit, nigga. You trying to wine and dine that nigga. It seemed like face. he don't eat with a kazaba time, but nigga. <laughs> and this is the shit. This is shit. 50 got too much money to give a fuck facts. It sounds like he trying to put them in a weird position. Spoil oh, and then oh, ask him for payment that don't mean physical currency. Uh, Niggas yeah. wildin. Yeah. Nah, cause they ain't gonna buy you owe me something. Shit goes off. <laughs> but it's your little fruit pop. It's a fruit pop. It's your fruit pop. Trust me. You see these little weird ass pictures and shit like that out there. You should sit out there for no reason. Yo, 50 a real nigga, bro. He don't care. The nigga Puff was a fruit pop. You don't see accident pictures with me like kissing me. Chill, That doesn't happen by accident. Chill. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm telling you. Yes, I'm chill. telling you. Look, look. Later, you're going to find out a little shit that oh, I'll be saying. Man. Man. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Man, listen. I'm trying to tell you the truth. But the truth, sometimes it hurts. Right. It hurts people and they don't want to hear that shit. But right. I'm trying to tell you. He asked me, could he take me shopping? And it fucked me up because I'm looking like, what the Right, but this gets even more suspect. Many believe Diddy groomed Usher and Justin Bieber when they were young. In the words of Diddy, he once said, Me and Usher used to play fight. We used to wrestle for Frosted Flakes. How old is Usher compared to Diddy? Yeah, we um, we want to thank you. Come here. Don't, don't sit on the bed at night. No homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. There's no way you said no homo, Diddy. Don't get up, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. Yo, this nigga Kevin Hart is so fucking short. Diddy is sitting down and is almost this nigga's height. It's crazy. It's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it, you did it. No, no, I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not getting the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna... If we can, just let's, let's just put the camera a little this way. Just so we're... I'm past it at this point. <laughs> Phrasing was a little off. Remind me to say pause next time. We got you, my nigga. We got you next time, bro. We got you, dog. Not, I don't want my shot to even, like, I don't want it to come close to the bed. We got you, because I don't. I, I should look like he fresh off a goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean. Yo, you see what I mean? This, yo, this nigga did he get drunk and just get to wilding with his words, bro. He don't know how to choose the words wisely at all. I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother. 10 and he was a little bit older. This nigga was like 25 or something probably. You wrestling with a 10-year-old a that's not your own child? What the fuck? We used to fight over the... When I tell you if anybody else's kids even touch me, the first I do is like this. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? What the hell is this nigga talking about? What the hell? Over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying? Before Pause was invented. Before Pause was invented. It's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle. A nine year age difference, so he was 19. Diddy was 19. 
wrestling with a 10 year old. At 19 years old, I'm not wrestling with a 10 year old that is not my little brother. Off of the, or my the cousin. Place Something. You, get you gotta be blood related to me. <laughs> yo, yo, what the fuck did Puff just say? You gotta be right. blood related so to you me. See, yo, it's Chris. Thank you for that raid, bro. As they fought over Frosted Flakes. You gotta be blood related. Was it's Chris, thank you, my nigga. At such a young age. I think he said they were sword by fight. Diddy, of course. Why would he be wrestling with children over Frosted Flakes? And it makes you wonder, did Diddy also wrestle with Justin Bieber for Frosted Flakes? And even so, why was Usher wow. and Justin Bieber even sent to Diddy at such a young age? Here we have Diddy, who created this- Well, you have to understand why they were sent to Diddy. Not because people are thinking their children are gonna be groomed. Diddy is a world-renowned superstar. a and owner of a label and everything like that. Like, come on, let's be real here. If your children is talented enough and you didn't know this nigga was weird, why would you not send them to him thinking that he can give them the opportunity of a lifetime? Like, you gotta be real here, bro. Oddly oh, no. named camp that goes by the name of Puffs Flavor Camp. Why the word flavor, you may be wondering? You see in a bit, Puffs this creepy camp, camp was a camp where young aspiring music stars would come to live with Diddy for a few months and get to- Oh, you got me fucked up. Oh, hell no. Uh, yeah, for an opportunity of a lifetime, my kid is not going to live with anybody. We can live with that motherfucker. There's no way in hell, bro. What the fuck? Hell no. My child living with somebody else? The hell no. Shit. Shit. What? Experience the life of a rapper. They would live with them, sleep in his house, and eat with them. Sounds harmless, right? Both big, do big Dog J, that shit happened? Yeah, they were definitely tasting a flavor. Wow, nigga. Usher and Justin Bieber were the students of Diddy's Flavor Camp, with both of them Flavor Camp getting to see what I'm never sending some of my children to a place called Flavor Camp. Happens inside of Diddy's house behind closed doors. At the time, Diddy was 30, while Usher and Justin Bieber were just 15. In the Howard Stern interview with Usher being their The nigga, bro, the nigga said Justin Bieber was I mean, and and Usher the same age. Like, come on, bro. Not, dog, why are you lying? See, now you, like, bro, that's not even cool when you get up on here and lie. Hold on. That's not cool when you get up on here and lie. Justin Bieber is 29. Usher is 44. Why didn't nigga get up on here and lie? Why did nigga get a boy hand lie? Guess Usher described these things he saw as some very curious things happening behind closed doors. To New York City. And I'm, I'm, made them taste the rainbow skull. What, no, the thing is, look, if he said they that Usher lived with Diddy as a teen and, you know, Diddy was nine years older than him, that's fine because Diddy's nine years older than him. He made it seem like Usher went to go live with him and well, he was 15 and Diddy was 30. Nah, he wasn't. But Justin Bieber, I'm guessing that may have been something of a different story, but Diddy must have been a hell of a lot older than Justin Bieber. And still, I lived with- It wouldn't happen. You're still not living. My child is not living with anybody. Sean Puffy comes for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea. Living with him for a year at that. My aunt was claiming that Diddy was on the down low back in like 2005. Does she know the nigga? Right, we're like sending you over to something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> some flavor camp. Yeah, flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're gonna go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna in the nineties. Do you understand what? Yeah, that's Johnny like? Waffles Puffy's niggas do that, bro. Was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were thirteen. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it, and it was, <laughs> and it was. Uh, but I don't know if I could nope, indulge in understand and what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so so nobody tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say you that. Didn't, <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And curious I didn't necessarily things. understand it. Uh-huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil' Kim. Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jody C, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? That's crazy. You know what? You know it's crazy because I I know damn well he probably was in there drinking. 
probably drugs and shit like that around him, everything like Very that. Very curious to the point I could even say by curious. What, what, did he? Or, like, this, this is crazy. You know he was around a whole bunch of shit he shouldn't have seen, bruh. <laughs> Clutch Crew said definitely fucking dudes. I don't think Usher was in there fucking dudes. Bro. Now, so you may think, how was this happening? And where was Usher's parents when all of this... I didn't... I never knew Usher had his hair like this. Usher may have been in there fucking dudes. He may have. happening. And what types of activities the Usher see at this age? And That's just... a piercing in his ear? Yeah, he was in there fucking dudes. I didn't realize he had that piercing inside of his ear. I thought it was a microphone or something. It's like Usher here. Here's Justin Bieber, who is about to spend 48 hours with Diddy. Which Diddy would go on to say the things him and Justin would be not... doing are things that could not... My child is not going the to... The optics with, uh, of this really up. ain't looking good. Not at all. Crazy thing is I was arguing with one of my old classmates about a similar subject. Dude was really defending some wild stuff. Niggas to defend a lot of shit when it comes down to rich people and connections. Not be disclosed. So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, his boy. They're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. And his parents. Him and his parents. That's what have been with me and my kids. Him and his parents. When, um, we, we can't really disclose. You know the fucked up part about it, though, when it comes down to this, bro? Certain parents were giving their kids up to R. Kelly and knew what was going on. That's fucked up. So it's like, parents are even more fucked up, you know what I'm saying, than you think too. Because some of these parents, they don't they don't even care. As long as they see an, oppor an opportunity for money, they don't care. They have no clue what they sent this little boy into. Justin Bieber could have been over there and anything could have happened. But like I said, I don't know his parents. But I'm just saying, like, because... With me, I think about it like this. I want to keep my children safe. There's no way in hell. My children are going anywhere without me as far as them going to spend the night with some random people. My kids don't even have babysitters. Like my nigga, they, the only babysitters my, my kids have ever had when they've been with me is family. My daughter's never had a babysitter ever. I don't know about my son. I don't know what the fuck his mom does. You know what I'm saying? But my, my daughter has never even had a babysitter. I don't play that. My kids ain't going to have babysitters. What's the fucking point? Stay with me. You got family. That's it. But um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Chris Benoit. Go Chris Benoit. Nigga gonna say when it's a celebrity, you feel like you know them. Bro, J. Cole can come to me and say, yo, look, I'm gonna give your kid an opportunity of a lifetime. They just gotta stay with me for 48 hours. We will end up on 48, on the first 48, nigga. Don't play with me, J. Cole. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to kiss your family goodbye and tell them that you love yours. Nigga, you better love your motherfucking family as much as you possibly can because I promise you ain't going to be on here. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to be on here for too long to tell them motherfuckers you love yours. Nigga, don't play with me, bro. You ain't going to sit there and, and tell me I'm going to you gonna take my kids. No, they going to be with me, nigga. That's it. All right, yo. You, oh, you, my kids need to spend the night at your house? All right, bet. Where we going? What you mean, we? We. Us. You know what I'm saying? Us, nigga. All of us. We all going. If that ain't happening, they ain't going, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I want my kids to have the opportunities they can to make money and be great in life. But if it takes them going off without me being there, hell no. No fucking way I'm sending them with another grown-ass adult. Knowing how weird people are and rich people, how weird rich people can be because of the things they can get away with, because of the things that money can buy, fuck no. The immunity that money can buy is crazy, bro. You'd be surprised, bruh. What? The things that you can get away with? Hell no. Come on, bro. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first. The nigga had legal guardianship of another person's kid. Do y'all see what I mean? These, peop these, these parents will pawn their kids off, bro. They have no problem selling their kids for money. And I first album, I did Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with he's me. Crazy. So, um, and, and, and we gonna go full. But I can't even imagine my kids having a step parent and the motherfucker say you a legal guardian. 
you got me fucked up, nigga. Because my kids ain't never going to have a stepfather. I'm going to step right to that nigga to even think that he a father of my kids. You got me, man, fuck. Fool crazy. Fuck like. Now, in this context, what were these fuck fool crazy things happening inside of Diddy's crazy. house? Also, what was so secretive about his house parties with Justin that he couldn't disclose what they'd be doing? Here would be the reason as to why many would see Diddy as a person that groomed Justin and Usher at such Isn't a Isn't Justin age. Bieber father now that you've seen some of the things Diddy does. What about people from his closest circles that had been inside his secret parties? What are these secret things that they have seen? Eyewitness accounts. Jada Pinkett and Will Smith, you told me before that she was at a party before that they attended and you said the party was weird. Tell me about that. Jada Pinkett okay, and Will uh, This right, is Boxer. His name Twine. He's from our neighborhood. He, he was married to uh, Tanisha Arnold. So the broad played Pam on uh, Martin the, Lawrence. The broad. We went to the party with her. I mean, it was a matter of fact, it was a set it off party. His mom had him at Jada 14. Pickett. Nigga, Justin Bieber's mom had him at 14. What the fuck? Bieber Kapras, all of them was there. You know what I'm saying? It was just, uh, seemed like Puff and Tupac it was like a couple, seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird shit going on, you know what I'm saying? The vibes ain't there. I guess that, that's what Tupac was talking about, the Illuminati and shit. Wow. It's like Vivica Fox was with this big gay man. He was 6'9". They called him, his name 6'9". He had a Vivica Fox with a big gay man with Dennis Robin. This thing of Clementine gonna say Daquan in four years. This is not me, nigga. I ain't that old. Red hair with a big old booty and shit. No, he was gay in the What the fuck is going on Red here? Red hair and a big old booty. It's just a lot of, a lot of weird shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? You just said a nigga had a big old booty and you called him gay. To quote the Honorable Bruce, they drop him off himself. But nigga Diddy was at those camps fucking a nigga from the back with no lube. Fucking a nigga from the back with no lube. Fucking a nigga from the back with no lube. What fucking made Bruce say that? The back with no lube. What made Bruce say that, bro? I have to know the context behind JB that. JB was one of those young celebrities that they always kept doing weird stuff to. It was sad. That's Didn't crazy. Patrick do a vid on this? Patrick CC did a video? I don't know. I should. Hey, right. When you hear of Diddy's parties costing around a million dollars, you have to wonder, how do people even get invited to these types of parties? Here I did a quick Google search and I found out that the way people got invites to these sick parties were based on contacts, connections, and even careers, meaning- And I would guess that it would be NDAs, you know what I'm saying, signed to these parties. What you did for a living. You pretty much have to know someone that knew someone that knows someone. And there'd be a bunch of drunk celebrities, yep. a bunch That's of- That's how girls, it works. A bucket that's how it works. No Vaseline, straight raw. What, what, what made Bruce say that? But like, now nah, that's how it works, bro. When it comes down to like rich people, mansion parties and shit. When uh, Fresh took me out to a mansion party, the only reason why we was able to get in because Fresh had to know somebody. It didn't matter like who told you about it. I mean, I mean, it mattered who told you about it and if that person could actually get you in the party. If nobody knew you, you can't get in. Like... These rich parties, they don't, they don't be playing. Kill loads of drugs. And in this case, with Diddy spending a million dollars to host this party, drugs mm -hmm. have to be bought in bucket loads. We have ecstasy, crack, weed, all types of crack drug you can name, right? It's all available at these types of I couldn't imagine motherfuckers doing crack at a party. Parties. It's like, I ain't gonna hold you. I'm out immediately. If I see a motherfucker doing some coke, I right, look. Is it, it okay? This is this a little different. Motherfucker smoking a blunt. All right, that's normal. Motherfucker hitting that boot. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Y'all really taking it. This is really going up. All right. All right. As soon as they pull out that pipe, pfft, done. Gone. Yo, I'm out. Crack? Nah. Crack is where I draw the line. Coke is where you take the line. Crack is where I draw the line. You got me fucked up. As soon as I see the crack come out, I'm out. I'm going to holler at y'all niggas. Y'all be easy, nigga. I'm going. There's no way in hell. It, if niggas start pulling out heroin and shit like that, you pull out heroin, crack, all the other. I gots to go. No way in hell. I, I got. I, I gotta be out. I gotta be out, bro. Just a party where you sin. It's a sinful party. It's not no Nigga, birth niggas said Viagra. The parties. It's not a regular party where you cut the cake. Not those parties. These parties. Nigga, uh, a shiny drawer said once I see meth or needles, I'm gone. Yo, bro, you'd be surprised at how like casual meth heads bring up like that they smoke meth but i walked in somebody's house before and i was like it was that oh it's meth like because they was hitting shit out of bong i was like oh okay um 
Well, it, well, I didn't know that. Like, they just say it so casually like it's nothing. They say, yo, it's ice. They were what? cutting cake. What? They were serving it. What the hell? You, they just don't care. Like, and, and, and they expect you to just act like it's normal. Like, it's, that is not normal for motherfuckers to do meth. Like, that's, that's not a normal drug. Nigga said, nigga friends with Jesse Pink, but yo, black with to chill, nigga. These are different. But what are the things that even makes this party even weirder, right? There was Exhibit, a man who was Diddy's friend. He talked about an experience that he had with Diddy. Went to um, uh, Florida. We got invited to a, a puffy party, the New Year's Eve party. Uh -huh. Went to the party. You know, all um, dudes. Yeah, yeah, nah, it was actually a good party. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. like, it was at, on South Beach, right? Right. So then we, you know, we go to the house, and then you know, uh, he he invited us to the house because he wanted to go to the club afterwards. Right? I was like, okay, right. cool. So Superhead is with me. You know what I'm saying? Karen Karen is is with me. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Superhead. Yeah. So she takes me. She, you know, she Puffy calls me outside. He's like, hey man, you know the. Um, that, that girl you you know about the girl you I was like yeah nigga don't everybody know but you know what I'm saying what's happening you know what I'm saying? he's like uh you know that's the devil man you know what I'm saying I was like what the you mean got, that's the devil the devil got a pretty mouth yeah I was like what you mean that's the devil you know and then he's like Girl's yeah man she she videotaped me with fingers in the booty that's a new you know movie she videotaped fingers in a booty. And I was the like, what? Sucks like, penis. Hey, what the fuck are you talking oh, about? We rewind, rewind. I heard a penis and a finger in the yeah. ass. What? She said, he, 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 so, so Puffy tells you he that gonna, she. She will videotape you with fingers in the booty. Yeah, and I was I like, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah, what, you know what, what does that mean? mean? Confession. So then, so then I go back in the house and I ask her, what the fuck are you talking about? He, he well, you said you're a filmer. No, I, I did ask him. He's just like, whatever. He, he went off and did his thing. And I was, was like, he okay. limping? <laughs> <laughs> he walked away and the nail fell out of his boot. No, I'm gonna clear this shit up. Cause I go nah, Diddy is a wild Fingers nigga. Fingers in the booty. They talking chocolate dip. I don't know. I don't know if they said penis or finger. Listen, I'm not gonna have please. my name. I ain't so gonna have my name out there crazy oh, like that. Go ahead, go ahead. So then, so then, so then he said, so then she said, uh, I told him what she, he told me, and she was like, oh, she started laughing like a mother. I'll tell you later. So then, so then I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to make a big deal of it, whatever. So, so then he's, you know, then, then I guess he's had some prior incident with her that he don't want nobody to know about. You know what I'm saying? But this is not even it. It's girls in the club, too. And then she pointed another direction. It's another dude over there, like, butt-ass naked. Dancing. Ben. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we take off, man. You know what I'm saying? We oh, leave the club so directly. Saying, I didn't say peace to nobody. So I didn't see nobody. Gay. Yeah, it was it was a suspect. Lot of male, a lot of a lot, lot, lot of suspect. The club you was could chalk it up. You could chalk it up to being in Miami or whatever. I never blame it on the. I've been in a gang. I've been in a gang of clubs, man. The club was called. And I ain't never I ain't never mistakenly stepped into a club having that kind of. So why would Diddy be a participant of these parties? Why would even exhibit be a naked man just going to these dancing. types of parties? And to top this all off, Diddy's ex bodyguard, Gene, said there were pictures circulating around their circle of Diddy getting his pants pulled down by another man. But because of the power Diddy had, those pictures never made it to the internet. It was destroyed. Puff got one of the hottest DJs off of Hot 97 because she wanted to put up a picture of him getting his pants pulled down. You understand what I'm saying? Puff had power. And a quick message to YouTube, right? These informations I'm reporting on, they're all from the website, the YouTube website. Okay, the nigga scared me. I thought he's about to show some shit. These are not something I'm just pulling out. I'm not exposing nobody. I'm just reporting on what's available. And also with Gene, Diddy's ex-bodyguard, there was the moon rituals that he claimed he moon saw rituals. Diddy doing. Him and Kim, Kim Porter's birthday was on the same day. And people was thinking that because of Puff gave his birthday party on her birthday. But it was bigger than that and people don't understand that. And I think that he had That's almost told off on himself when he spoke about the winter so the winter Solstice. I thought he was about to say the winter soldier. And that's when the pagans and uh, the pagans. people who believe in the cult was looking for that moon on 12 12 at 12 p.m. 12 a.m. 
and they were doing spiritual rituals at that time that's when that that was going to be the last day of that was going to be the last day of I believe rich the really full really moon it. and that means that uh, the seasons and all that stuff has changed but when you get into that spiritual realm stuff it was when people did they went and they gave they, they, they paid homage to certain sacrifices and this nigga talks so fucking slow god damn homage to certain idols shit and on the third day what the fuck shut the fuck up they nigga. would drink like part I, I'm, I'm done listening like nigga shut they, the fuck be merry and oh my god the men would have sex with each other and then you could have just said that. What the fuck, yo? You could have said, yo, these niggas was wildin', bro. They was waiting for a moon to pop up and niggas started fucking each other. You saw how simple this sum this shit up, nigga. All of that extra bullshit. Nigga, nigga, dad is here for fucking 50 hours, nigga, listen to that bullshit. Yo, man, Diddy and Lil' Kim was wild. And they was over there looking for this moon on the 12th day or whatever this month, blah, blah. And at the end of the day, niggas started fucking each other. That's how simple that is, nigga. Jamie Foxx, who was just mysteriously hospitalized after okay. talking about Diddy being gay. There's the clip of Diddy calling Meek Mill daddy, with Meek Mill looking very, very uncomfortable with the way he was saying it. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Hey, you see, you see how I told y'all, niggas and never call them niggas out because it's like, yo, this is, a, this is a big connect. This is a... My connection to a billionaire, bro. To where my family could be set for life off of one play this nigga called My Family Set for Life. Niggas will not call a nigga out, bro. It is what it is. Yeah. And even the way Diddy made his money, right? A bunch of artists' careers were screwed over, tell you, giving them terrible record deals, making their lives a living hell. With these artists barely making any money from their music. Craig Mack, Mace, Shine, and all of these other artists that Diddy signed and used for his own come up. Even though Diddy is big on black excellence and representation, these buzzwords that he seems to use are buzzwords. steeped in hypocrisy, right? It's, it buzzwords. seems as if he doesn't even care about other people but himself. And those artists he signed all wanted out of their deals, and even if they were let off their contract, he kept the lingering hold on them by retaining most of their music publishing. If you knew anything about music label, or Diddy's music label in general, Bad Boy Records, because he controlled the artist publishing, he earns all the money, and even when their music yo quipped thank you for that thank you for that the prime five months bro is used to movies tv shows and any types of commercial products all that five money that months, they're making that they're given to use that music it's all given to diddy and all i'm not surprised as to diddy being closeted nor should we be alarmed that he even is right in simple words god remains on top Diddy is in Hollywood, and Hollywood seems to be a very sick on place. Top the Rappers Diddy. right now are wearing things I'd only see my mom. That's some wild shit. Now, Lil Wayne was bugging with the jeggings, but I didn't know this nigga wore a kilt. This nigga Diddy wildin', bro. On wear, blouses, skirts, crop tops. Nah, niggas are wildin' with the, like, yo, Russell Westbrook. Tops, purses, you name it. For example, this young thug wearing this. This is not Young Thug. I don't know why niggas really thought this was Young Thug. This is not Young Thug. Young Thug did wear a dress though, but this ain't Young Thug. This dress saying it's all art. There's Kanye wearing this woman blouse. Diddy wearing this woman's skirt. Lil Wayne in this leopard print leggings. Andre 3000 in this bedazzled fringed out attire. Kid Cudi in this crop top. And, and niggas are really listening to these bitches on Twitter that are like, you're securing your masculinity. Nigga, you look gay as hell, bro. Kid Cudi in a dress. Lil Uzi Vert wearing a skirt. Lil Uzi. Yo, Lil Uzi Vert been tripping. Yo, I remember this picture. I fried the hell out of this nigga, bro. Uzi Vert carrying a lady's purse. Pusha T wearing a skirt. Young Thug with. I did not know Pusha T wore a skirt. Woman Fendi boots. Wiz Khalifa with a skirt. A dress. Wiz Khalifa. This nigga look like Matilda. Dog, there's no way, bro. Dog, the nigga dressed like Matilda. Bro, nigga, Wiz Khalifa wore a skirt. I never even knew that. When the fuck, bro, with this nigga Post Malone, bro, what, what the hell is this? Yo, I never, like, white people, I feel like y'all kind of get a pass because it's like white people just be doing that. 
Niggas, I've never, I didn't know Wiz Khalifa wore a skirt, bruh. And P Pusha T? What the fuck, yo? Dress on Post Malone and even Jamie Foxx himself. That, nah, don't even try to play. That was for a role. That's a completely different, nigga. You know damn well. Just like Martin dressing as Shanae, niggas don't try to cook Martin for dressing as Big Mama or Shanae, nigga. You can't even, just like niggas don't cook the Wayans for dressing as white chicks, nigga. Don't try to play that, nigga. So why should we be surprised at that. Diddy if it's looking like these guys are all doing the same thing? Even for there to be this much coming out from immediate circles, you know, bodyguards, friends against Diddy, he had to have been involved in some of these stuff he's been said to be doing. I mean, why? Diddy was out here fucking my favorites. We can't let it slide. I, I, I don't know if he was out there really. Like we, nobody's confirmed he's fucked the nigga. Did Cat Williams, a person blacklisted from Hollywood, say this about rappers' deaths? When these rappers get killed, not incidental. Somebody made a hundred million dollars and now don't have to talk to that artist or none of their crew, don't have to validate none of their contracts. Now only got to deal with the mama, only got to see her once a year, and it's over. And the money, he goes up and up and up. And even though these are all... I do believe that that is true. You know what I'm saying? I definitely do believe that can happen. Why wouldn't it, you know what I'm saying, be true? Think about it. Imagine you sign a rapper for this amount of money and you're supposed to give them certain, a certain amount. They're a street rapper. You end up paying somebody a lot cheaper. There's niggas out here that'll catch a body for 5,000, bro. You Imagine you throw a nigga 10, 15, 20. That's, that's chump change to you compared to the $5 million contract you're supposed to pay this nigga. All speculative rumors, you know, I wouldn't put it past nobody, but I'll leave this one open-ended. What do you think about Diddy? I, I don't know. Uh, that was definitely a W video, though. I think Diddy does things a lot of rich people do, which is some very weird shit. I'm not going to lie to you. I think a lot of rich people do, you know, a lot of weird shit, bro, as far as look at the parties and shit they have. I think a lot of rich people are on drugs, hard drugs. Um, they can they can afford it. They can afford the therapy and the uh, and the rehabilitation for it. I do believe a lot of rich people will experiment. Why not? Because think about it. With somebody like Diddy, everybody knows all of this, and yet he still fuck with a young Miami. If I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna venture to say young Miami would not want to deal with a bisexual man. I'm gonna just venture to say that. Now she has gay friends and all, but black women are allies of the LGBT LGBT. LBG, nigga, come on, bro. Y'all already know, bacon, lettuce, tomato community. They always um, allies to them until it comes down to them supposedly dating a bisexual man. As soon as it comes out of that, they become extremely homophobic. As soon as they don't like a man, you gay. Immediately place a DL a label on them immediately. So I would think that somebody like Young Miami, she's definitely not going to date a man that's gay or even labeled as it. You know what I'm saying? Or the average dude. But like I said, when you are somebody of that status, who cares? Think about it. If Elon Musk said he's gay and he just came out of nowhere, he said one day, yo, I'm gay. And then the next day he says, you know what, never mind, I was tripping. I like women. Do you think women going to be like, oh, my God, how many niggas did you fuck? Or you think they're going to be like, you worth how much money? I, I could go ahead and overlook that. I can, overlook, I can overlook that. Yeah, you, you got to really, like, bro, think about it like this, right? You may care about your father being gay if you find out because you like, damn, this nigga disappointed me. But your father didn't buy you a Lambo when you just got your license. It's a little easier to overlook when your father just bought you a Lambo at 16 years old when you just got your license. It's kind of a little easier to overlook. You know what I'm saying? When your father got you a house at 18 years old, you living in a man your own mansion. It's, you can kind of say, you know what? You can go ahead and be gay. You ain't got to tell me, my nigga.